nice fish. Hi guys, Zeno Chroman. I'm back with another installment of How Do I Fish Some Plugs. And here we have today uh, bottle plugs. To me, one of the most misunderstood and, and misused lures. Um, I, I don't mean that in the sense of the guys that I fish with, uh, the guys that are actually better fishermen than I am. Most of the time, most of the guys are better fishermen than I am. But the guys that I fish with kind of I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the guys that watch these types of videos that want to learn something. They are generally petrified of bottle plugs. Um, so if I can help one person be more comfortable, um, then I have done my job. Uh, as you know, I am the co-publisher of Surfcasters Journal on www.surfcastersjournal.com. It's a bi-monthly publication devoted only for surfcasters. So that, that's why we made these videos uh, to give a little bit back to the community and to the support that have been so good to us over the years um, in sense of providing so much joy and meeting so many wonderful people at the shows and on the beach. So, bottle plugs. Um, from what I've known, originally designed by Stan Gibbs, uh, these are the original Gibbs ones. Actually, all three of these are original uh, Steve Camper plug. I believe that Stan painted these specifically for Steve uh, with these special colors. Uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, this mackerel one probably dropped me the biggest fish of my life. Um, I was with Tommy and Bogey at the Shag one years ago, 30, 40 miles an hour, northwest wind in our face. The trucks were getting sandblasted. We couldn't even open a car door. And I got to the, to the water's edge, like put my head down and try to get to the water. And I put this thing on and I literally, you can't, I mean, this is a big three ounce plug, but I probably casted this thing about 20 yards. And I got into the water and I went, oh, Jesus. And I was just like, Zzz! and then it just went on for a while. I could really budge this fish and it just came on button. I probably, probably never set the hook. Not unusual when you get a hit, when you don't expect it, where you don't set the hook. And um, that's a running joke uh, when Tommy fishes with me, how many times I just set the hook. So it's not like I don't do it, but I believe that this particular time I honestly didn't do it. So that's quite possible. Um, so, you know, I'm going to go over some of these plugs. We'll take a look at uh, the sizes, where to use them, and then we'll um, kind of see if there's anything that I can mention that I, through my experience, that I know that maybe you didn't or haven't thought of it. Okay, so let's take a look what we have in way of uh, what's available in the marketplace, okay? It's not much comparable to other plugs. I mean, swimming plugs and metal lips and needlefish, you know, you can have thousands, variations, colors. Bottle plugs, not so much. You have a single small one that I know of that Gibbs makes uh, it doesn't cast well, but it does catch a lot of fish at times. I call a special situation plug not my favorite, but a lot of guys do like actually Bill Wetzel's one of the likes the most. I I'm not a big fan. Okay, then you have your Super Strike, which is uh, a standby. Um, big Gibbs 3 ounce for special situations again. And then you have something like this, which is a North Bar. He also makes a plastic one, which I don't have one here right now. I don't know why, I just don't have it with me right now. So uh, this is a wood one. This is a cross between a daughter and a, and a ball plug. Uh, it digs deeper than a daughter. It casts very well. It, it works in, a, in situations that you would think, and it works in a rougher situation. Now, again, when would you use a, a bottle plug? Yes, the common theme is to use it in a rough situation where nothing else works. And a fish are on the feed. Okay, so if you have a big nor'easter with a big sweep and a big waves, you throw in a metal lip or you throw in a needlefish or you throw in a daughter and it gets swept right out and next thing you know it's down a beach and it's useless. All true. What are you gonna do? You're gonna do two things. You're gonna either throw a bucktail, a heavy bucktail, or you're gonna throw a bottle plug. Why bottle plug? When you throw this plug into the heavy water, this lip 
will get caught. So what it, what's going to happen is you're going to cast, you're going to take up your slack, and you're going to dig it, and you're going to dig it in once or twice, and this plug is just going to dig into that wave, and it just stay there, and your rod will literally pulsate as you're holding it. And this will happen even in a calm water. If you fish this in a calm water, and you throw it on the current, and you take up your slack, you're going to feel the rod pulsating because the way this plug digs against the current. Does it work in a flat, flat, flat conditions? Yes. Does it work in a flat conditions with no current? No. Just like the daughter it doesn't. So if you got a little deeper water than, than, than uh, uh, where you would use a daughter, like off the jetties, and it's flat, calm, and you got a lot of current, don't af be afraid to use the bottle plug. Now granted, you're not going to use it depending on the depth. If, you, if you're fishing a shallow water, you don't want to use something that's going to dig too deep. You want, might want to go with a shallow version. So that will depend which one do you use. Uh, the bottle daughter will you know, dig less than a uh, uh, Super Strike uh, bottle plug. Super Strike bottle plug that has uh, these beads now that they redesigned will, will dig differently than the original one. So you're going to have to kind of figure out what this is going to do for you. But don't be afraid to use them in a flat condition as long as you have current. If you have a bigger baits in, in the area, herring, squid, uh, bunker, it's a great lure to throw it in there because it, it imitates, it gives you a, a nice big target for fish to hit. And this is what they're feeding on. Uh, again, in rough water, they do shine, and they only shine because nothing else works. Let's be honest. They, it's not like they're magic plugs. Nothing else works. What the, you know what you're going to throw. You're going to throw what works, and that works. So rough conditions, flat conditions, a lot of current, deeper than a daughter. It, you, you, you pick up your slack. You always cast up current. You pick up your slug, you feel that digging, and you just retrieve as slowly as the plug will let you. Try to, when you're fishing lures, regardless if it's a bomber, if it's a, a, a metal lip, if it's a, anything that's got a lip or, 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 or slope, even a popper, you know, a daughter. A daughter, you're going to fish slowly, just stay in a contact, but always be in a contact. And this goes for all the plugs, always being a contact. But what I was going with this is that don't for a horse the plug any faster than it wants to go. The plug should and will tell you what you should do, the speed that you should retrieve. So if the daughter is, is you know, don't crank it like this just because the daughter is going, that's not usually the way the daughter works, you know, at, at its best. You want to get the full potential. So let the plug talk to you is my point. Is you're going to feel that resistance. That's basically all you wanted to do to retrieve it. It's just to feel in touch with your plug, okay? Popper is different because you got to give it a little bit of, of light. And needlefish doesn't do anything, so you impart a lot of the action yourself. So we'll go over that. That's a whole different story. But these kind of plugs, they have a, some kind of a lip. Generally, slow is the key Keep it in touch is slow. Those two things, you put those two things together, you catch plenty of fish. I promise. All right, so check out surfcastersjournal.com. Um, every issue, we have 50 or more pages of free content that you can check out. You can see the videos. You can see what the magazine is all about. Um, give it forward. When you learn, when you get better, give it to somebody else. Okay, that's the best thing you can do. Forget the magazine. Forget all the other stuff. Give it to somebody else. Bring a kid fishing. It'll make my day.